Tonight should have been your annual awards evening, where we join together as a school community at St Elphin's Parish Church to celebrate the successes of the previous academic year. Sadly, and for obvious reasons, this can't happen, but we'd just like you to hear a few messages of reflection and recognition. Good evening everyone and welcome to our awards evening. I know this is a little different to how it usually looks and we are in the virtual world. However, it is really important that we celebrate the achievements of our young people. 2019-20 has been um, a very challenging year uh, and our young people have been absolutely incredible. Um, living and working and being in education during a pandemic uh, isn't something I'd ever thought I would be um, saying, to, saying to people. However, I think the young people need to be praised for how they've been so resilient and how they have adapted um, to a daily changing uh, regime, essentially. Um, I need to mention at this point our, our amazing uh, class of 2020. Um, our young people who didn't get to sit their GCSEs in the traditional way and usually they would be here with us this evening um, and we would be celebrating their achievements um, in certain subject areas and, and across the broad in general really. Um, they need a, a special mention because they worked so incredibly hard and then to have the rug taken from underneath their feet um, at that time was really difficult for them. Um, however, they got on with it. Um, they didn't just stop. They didn't just stop working hard. Um, they carried on working until we really had the rubber stamp that the exams weren't going to take place. Not only that, after that, they didn't just give up. They looked at their careers um, and aspirations program that we have in place and all the personal development and really did just embrace that to make sure that they had the best future possible. We had hoped that you'd be able to meet our special guest in person. However, with it not being possible, Captain Nick Critchell from the Red Arrows has sent over the following message. Hi everyone, my name is Flat Lieutenant Nick Critchell and I am a Red 3 with the Royal Air Force Aerobatic Team, the Red Arrows. Now I believe you are celebrating some of your achievements from the last academic year and I can imagine that that must have been a fairly difficult time over the past three to six months with everything that's going on. I actually went to school with one of your teachers and Mr Burbage will tell you that when we were at school all I ever wanted to do was become a pilot and I still find it quite bizarre that I get to stand and talk to you whilst wearing a red flying suit. During my academic career and my flying career there have always been setbacks that have been required to overcome. Uh, that includes failing flying trips in flying training where actually trying to change your mindset and forget what's happened and move forward is one of the defining features of someone that has to do my job. But that is evident in every single walks of life, especially when you're at school. Now, depending on whether you got the grades that you wanted or not, actually, if you've got a dream, what we try and portray when we show you a display is that teamwork, determination, and uh, a constant drive means that you can still achieve that dream, regardless of any setbacks that you may face during any part of your career. Uh, so during our flying display, when we are flying those nine red jets for you, we are trying to portray all the attributes that we expect in our service life, but those attributes are evident in any walks of life and can be used even in your academic career to make sure that that drive and determination is uh, taken forward into any sort of job application or through into your exams as you finish your career. As you go forward in your uh, school life, what I would say to you is just keep that dream in mind if you do have one. Also, if you don't have one, if you just keep working hard, you will open up many opportunities that you will be able to potentially apply for when you have finished your schooling. Uh, so from myself uh, and the whole team, as you try and go forward in the rest of your academic year this year, and hopefully when the world is getting back to normal, you will be able to continue your drive and determination to achieve all your goals and dreams, whether that be in the service or through any other job, um, job role that you want to do. It's been a real pleasure to be part of your celebration today, uh, and I really hope that your academic life gets back to normal soon and your dreams and goals are all met by the time you finish your school life and I wish you well and good luck as you go forward in your professional careers. Thank you to Nick for his thoughts and his message around the qualities needed to go on and achieve success. Um, hopefully we'll have Nick in school in the near future. So it is at this point in the evening when we usually celebrate the individual successes whether it's in attendance, across a range of subjects or other aspects of school life. 
What was increasingly difficult was to single out people for these awards when all of us went above and beyond and faced challenges we never thought we would have to. So therefore, we are awarding all students at Sir Thomas Butler Church Finger High School with a piece of memorabilia for the academic year 2019-2020. So well done to all students who went above and beyond both during lockdown and before, and thank you. I would like to now invite Mrs Morby to give thanks to our school ambassadors. Good evening parents and carers and students. It gives me great pleasure to congratulate and recognise the ambassadors of Sir Thomas Butler Church of England High School. An ambassador at our school is a true role model of our Butler family. A student who comes to school every day and promotes high expectations, high aspirations and high standards and they will succeed. They believe in hope, compassion and endurance and go out of their way to develop our Butler school even further. Ambassadors give up their time freely to support the school, help at events, work with our primary school children, take tours, speak to external agencies and generally promote their love of our school. This past year, they have supported events such as inauguration evening, open evening, the Christmas fair and the Christmas service, as well as taking many parents and carers on tours around our wonderful school. So it gives me great pleasure to congratulate all the following ambassadors. Thank you. And having worked closely with the year groups throughout the year, and particularly during the lockdown from a distance, the final messages come from your heads of year. Hi, Miss Hayes here, and as the head of year seven, I work with the current year eight, obviously throughout the year last year. And we have many successes and achievements throughout the year. A group of students were trained up to be anti-bullying ambassadors with the Diana's Trust, which was fabulous. This group then went on to do the Share a Skill project out in the community at a local care home. And it was just amazing to watch you all get involved with that. I was so lucky to work with such a fabulous bunch of young people that you enabled me to offer you various rewards throughout the year. So we had a Halloween disco, we had the Christmas cinema in the hall, and that was just to give you something back really to say how well you were doing. You performed well in regards to pro progress on the whole. I cannot fault you at all. You represented the school at various sporting and music events and suddenly were impacted by the pandemic and our year seven together was brought to a short, abrupt end. But this, you as a fabulous group, you continued to work and produce work to an outstanding, an outstanding level. The work throughout lockdown continued to impress teachers and honestly, to work with you guys, I was so lucky. You're an absolutely fabulous bunch of young people. I really will miss working with you and I wish you all the best in year eight. Here's a message for last year's Year 8 and Year 9 students. We started the year setting targets and considering option choices, not aware of what the future will hold. So let's look at some highlights. Year 9 students took part in Human Utopia and were given time to reflect and think about career plans. Over 30 of the Year 9 group trained as Human Utopia heroes and were ambassadors across the school. In sport, many of you took part in archery, netball, rugby, football and gymnastics, not forgetting rowing which grows from strength to strength each year. Musical highlights include the TCAT concert at the Par Hall, the Community Carol Evening and the Bottle of Tonics performing in London at Westminster Hall. Over 40 Year 9 students took part in a trip to Safety Central and were excellent ambassadors for the school. Then lockdown came and this is when both year groups approached all opportunities with determination, self-motivation and a true sense of character. And this is what both Year 8 and 9 need to continue to build as you continue your journey at Sir Thomas Bottler Church of England High School. Make the most of all opportunities that come your way and make sure you continue to get involved in extracurricular activities. Let's hope the near future brings opportunities for trips and the reward you so greatly deserved. Good luck in the coming academic year. What a pleasure it is to have been your head of year. It's been such an incredibly strange year. 
then it is even more important to celebrate your achievements. You've been involved in so much and achieved in so much in school life, including the Army Residential, all the school shows, rowing with Miss Hayes, the drama and music clubs, all the sports that are on offer, the college visits that we went on, the interview skills day that we had. We also include all the time in lockdown when we had our virtual careers. It is with sadness that we said goodbye to Year 11 the way that we did, but we're immensely proud of how they showed resilience and are now working hard in college. I'm also immensely proud of the current Year 11 cohort. Your dedication to your studies will pay off, and although the year has been unpredictable, you are facing all the new challenges head on. Continue to celebrate your achievements and commitments to school life. We are all in this together.